Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So we've got like a different situation going on, like a different environment right now, um, because this is a different kind of video. This is still on the lines of uh, storytelling, but a little bit different. Um, so if you're a real one, stick around. Um, so I wanted to come on here in this way to speak face to face or even like whatever face to screen. Um, one to say thank you for just all of the support that I've gotten on my last three videos. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with just creating in this way um, and it just means so much. Secondly, I wanted to peel back the layers a little bit and just provide Hopefully like my intent is to provide some um, nuggets for people who, specifically creators, creatives, um, creatives in any space, um, who are struggling with putting themselves out there um, because just a little bit of background is I have been wanting to make a return to YouTube or just making sure like short form videos or long form videos actually back in 2021 but i was getting so caught up in negative self-talk um and just all of the things like just getting so caught up in like language around what do i have to contribute to this already oversaturated industry of content creation um, especially because it's changed so much from when I was doing it back in like 2017 or like 2018 um, so I was struggling with that and I was also struggling with trying to identify what value I would bring making it worth viewers while to stick around to want to to want to support me to want to tell a friend to tell a friend like I always say like I was struggling with those aspects so I just love that regardless of how it's being received or if I got no views at all that at least I'm stepping out on what I wanted to do at least I'm stepping out on faith at least I'm turning over every stone of what I can offer in this lifetime. And that's part of what I wanted to talk to you about um, is because it's really hard to get out of negative self-talk, um, which is why it's so imperative to have good people around you. Um, I think especially when your ideas are in, or like your ideas, your dreams, your goals are in an infancy stage where you're, they're just thoughts and they haven't actually, you know, you haven't put any action behind it. I think surrounding yourself around good supportive people is imperative and I think that when your ideas and your dreams and your goals are in that stage, it's like you know who you can and can't share things with because one negative comment from someone that you probably shouldn't be sharing that with could be setting you back months because now you're chewing on, well, they do have a point. Like if, if they think that, I wonder who else thinks that and you just kind of go through this rabbit hole of self-doubt because how I even started on YouTube and, and, and content creating was um, my sophomore year of college, um, my parents came to me and said, hey, like if you wanna keep attending university, um, you're gonna have to find a way to pay for it. And I knew that that was something so hard for them to, to, to do, um, but what I thought was the deepest betrayal actually ended up being um, just a foundation of my work ethic. So um, when I received that news, I started working like three or four jobs at a time to cover that semester, that upcoming semester. Um, and so yeah, I had, to, I had to bust my ass, I had to figure it out. And I was like nannying, doing YouTube as a way to make money. Um, and luckily I was bringing in, I wasn't bringing it, racking in like tons and tons of money, but I was 
racking in um, enough for it to contribute to my tuition. And I was also working as a production assistant slash um, extra for the show Chicago PD. And those of you who don't know, I'm from Chicago. Um, so, and if you know anything about production or have worked in production or on music videos, on TVs, movies, commercials, those things take 10 plus hours sometimes. Um, so being a full-time student while I was doing that just was not conducive or realistic. Um, so I fin ended up finishing college in six years and not in four because of what I needed to do to make money. And I was also interning and paid internships, of course. And I can't even believe I had to preface this because side note, all internships should be paid. That's crazy. Yeah, so I ended up um, completing university, my degree in six years and by 2019. So it was just really, really important for me to um, finish and to have my parents be able to see me walk across that stage because it was just such a highlight of their lives and of mine too. So um, that's a little bit of background of how I even got started, what even drove me here. And while I was doing YouTube, I ended up being like, man, I really like this. Like, this is so, this is great. So um, that's why I'm choosing to continue to do it um, for my own personal reasons, but also because it's something that I really, I, I really enjoy. So if there's anything that I can offer you is, or, or anything, a little nugget you want to stick in your pocket is a, like, do you, like, do you, do you, do you. And I came across this post that said that it's crazy how we fear judgment from the people that are least qualified to critique us and that's no shade but it is facts right i know for me when i was like chewing on the idea of coming back to youtube and just creating content i was thinking about the most random people who would be judging me and it's like i don't care any at all about this person's opinion in any other part of my of my life so why am i putting such an emphasis on this random person's opinion or random people um their opinion when i could care less any other time if you are struggling with that like don't even like whatever um and the second thing is like act follow people that you admire people whose trajectories and careers are things that you want for yourself or can relate to or see yourself doing. Um, I think that that really helped me like when I would see certain creators or like, you know, um, things online, I'd be like, man, that's so cool that I would love to be doing something like that. Like fill your timeline with things like that to help with that momentum. Um, and then the third thing is, is just believing in yourself, believing that you have value, believing that um, that there is someone out there that wants to hear from you because honestly, there is. There are people that wanna hear from you. You do have value to contribute that no one else can um, because you are you, you know? And just ultimately just doing it because at the end of this life, you don't wanna look back and be like, oh, you know, have all of these, I wish I could have, or had I done this, or, you know, you don't want, you don't want any of that. Like you want to be able to be like, I tried that and even if it failed, at least I tried, you know? It was just on my heart to share that. And um, if you want more, if you are digging my content, like I encourage you to subscribe. I encourage you to tell a friend to tell a friend and to turn your, um, what is it called? Bell notifications on so that you can get um, alerted on when I upload. Um, and yeah, like I'm rooting for you. Um, and I'm just, I hope that you take something from this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you on my next upload. Bye.